Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the next episode of the crack -a pack series. Today we are opening up Time Spiral, uh, which as I've said before is just a fantastic set. A lot of great value in this as well as just a lot of cool cards. Uh, we are going to look at this like it is a draft setting, so we are going to pretend like this is our pack one in a draft. We'll see if we can look through and pick a card that we would like uh, to start a deck with, really. Uh, so it should be a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys gain some knowledge out of it as well. So. Our first card here is Mog War Marshal. It is a 1-1 one, one for 2 with Echo of 1 in red. Basically, you have to pay that at the beginning of your upkeep after you've played this card. Otherwise, you have to sacrifice it. Uh, when it comes into play or is put into a graveyard from play, put a 1-1 one, one red Goblin Creature token into play. This is a great starting point for a red aggressive deck. Uh, this card is fantastic. Definitely something I would see taking. <coughs> Terramorphic Expanse is fine. It's basically Evolving Wilds that lets you search up a basic land from your deck. I like it. Uh, that being said, not first pick. Drudge Reavers is a 2-1 for 4 with Flash, so you can play at instant speed. And you can pay 1 black to regenerate it. Definitely a strong card, but a little too late in my opinion at 4. So I definitely don't think I'd pick it over the War Marshal. Uh, Temporal Isolation, Flash, uh, Enchanted Creature has Shadow. Prevent all damage that would be dealt by Enchanted Creature. Uh, this is an interesting card. At first you read Shadow and you think, oh, that's great, I want to put it on my creature, but obviously if it doesn't deal damage, uh, you'd probably want it on your opponent's creature. It does cost two. That actually seems great, like just decent removal. Uh, this is a 3-3 Sliver for five. Not good, in my opinion. Uh, Children of Corliss. I might be saying that incorrectly. It's a 1-1 one, one for 1. You can sacrifice it and gain life equal to the life you've lost this turn. I actually don't mind this card. Generally, I don't like life gain that much. Uh, but in limited, it's at its best, I would say. And uh, you could actually save yourself quite a bit with that. Uh, Sangrophage is a 3-3 three, three for 2. At the beginning of your upkeep, tap it unless you pay 2 life. This is actually a decent aggressive card, so I'd definitely consider it. Viashino Blade Scout is a 2-1 for 3 with Flash. Uh, when it comes into play, target creature gains first strike until end of turn. This is great as a creature slash combat trick. Uh, and so you can actually play that in a red deck and be really, really happy with it. Mystical Teachings is a great card. Reveal an instant, uh, excuse me, search your library for an instant card or a card with Flash. Reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. You can also flash it back for 5 and a black. Its normal cost is 3 and a blue. Great card, not so great, and limited. Uh, Paradise Plume is a forecast artifact. It comes into play, choose a color. When a player plays a spell of the chosen color, you may gain one life, and you may add one mana of, a, of the chosen color to your mana pool. It's a ramp card, but um, and it saves you some incidental life, but it's definitely not good enough, I don't think, for limited. <coughs> Excuse me. Primal Force Mage is a 2-2 for 3. When it uh, when another creature comes into play under your control, that creature gets plus 3, plus 3 until end of turn. This is actually... I saw a constructed deck with this. I don't remember what deck it was, but it was actually pretty sweet. I don't know how good that is in limited, to be honest. Just without haste, I don't know if that's good enough. Uh, I would consider it. Ghost Flame Sliver is a 2-2 for a black and a red. All slivers are colorless. Um, interesting. Definitely, I don't think, a card I would pick. Uh, Tevatar of Thorn is a 2-2 for 3 with First Strike Protection from Red. When it comes into play, destroy target Goblin. Uh, a lot of hate for the Goblins there. I don't particularly like this card, to be honest, so I don't think I'd first pick it. Uh, Dandian, I might be saying that incorrectly, is a 4-1 for 2 blue. It can't attack unless the defending player controls an island. When you control no islands, you have to sacrifice it. Definitely a strong card, but really not first pickable, solely because you don't know if your opponent's going to have islands in limited. So. Uh, and we did get a foil, Drifter Ildal, uh, one for a 2-1 with shadow, so it can't be blocked except by creatures with shadow. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice it unless, unless you pay one, and that does happen, at, that trigger happens every single turn. So it basically sets you back one. I tend not to like cards like that, though it is quite aggressive. Um, there's actually a pretty decent number of options here. Uh, I tend to really like the aggressive stuff, which puts me at either of these three, really. Uh, I don't think I'd want that first pick, but I could be wrong. Um, I don't know. I kind of like the Mog War Marshal just on the basis that I know he's good, so I'd probably first pick that. That being said, I could definitely be wrong in saying that that's going to be the first pick. So if I am 
definitely let me know guys let me know your thoughts on this pack what you thought was good what you should have picked out of it uh, but with that I think I'm going to get out of here if you enjoyed it make sure to leave a like or a comment down below make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of our content but with that uh, we'll see you in the next video guys thank you so much for watching